Okay, you guys, I just came outside. And again, not expecting this at all, but I'm in shock. I didn't think you were fully bagged up yet. Oh my gosh. No, Rosie, I wanna see your baby. Oh. oh my goodness, it's so cute. Hello. Hi, little one. You are adorable. It's okay. I wanna see if you're a girl or a boy. I think it's a boy. Whoa, what are you doing in there? She seems to know what she's doing. The baby is looking great, very energetic, all cleaned off. So I'm just gonna let her do her thing. Because it's a boy, we don't need to work on socializing it or anything. So I was keeping a close eye on Rosie. I knew she'd have her baby before Gertie here, but I didn't think it would be tonight. So she's doing great. Rosie is such a great mom. She does it all on her own. She really doesn't want help when it comes to her babies. So we always just let her do her own thing. But I'm so glad everything went well and she did great. Now I haven't done my morning chores yet. So Bonnie and the steers are screaming at me because they're hungry. So I'm gonna feed them quick. Hello. Hi, Sunny. Sunny's getting big. Hi, buddy. Okay, I'll feed ya. These things are always tangled. I can never figure them out. I need your guys' help. So we have this bull calf, which is a boy, obviously. So I need some name suggestions for this guy. I don't have any ideas, so you guys just have fun in the comments letting me know what name you think would be good for that guy. And then I also have a bunch of baby goats coming soon, and I need some name ideas. So basically, we're just gonna choose some cute temporary names for those babies. And then whenever they're sold, their new owner can change their names. But we need to give them some cute little names for while they are here on this farm. Bonnie is demanding her food. Okay, everyone is fed and happy now. So I know we put Bonnie in a horse stall so that her and her baby could bond and get close to each other. We did it mainly because she was a first time mom and she didn't know what she was doing. But on the other hand, Rosie has done this so many times before and she always does great. Last year, she had her calf out in the field with all the cows and she did great. And I honestly think she preferred that over being in a small enclosed area. So we just need to remember that every cow is different. And this year, we're just gonna let Rosie Rosie do her thing in there. She's doing amazing. She definitely either had this baby in the middle of the night or even in the late afternoon. Usually Rosie has lighter babies and they darken up over time till they're her color. So this boy's probably gonna be like a chocolatey, really dark brown. Hi Sunny, you're not the littlest calf anymore. Okay, I think they're all set. So I'm gonna go inside and check back in on them later. It is extremely windy outside, so I'm filming in the garage quick, but I'm going to check on the calf, see how he's doing, and then we're going to be moving the goats up into the kidding area. So we're gonna have all of the boys together in the pasture, but all the does are gonna be up in the kidding area for when they have their babies, so I can start checking them and just make sure they don't have any babies out in the pasture, because that would not be fun. <laughs> Now it's time to move the goats and the first thing I need to do is to put a fence across this area so that the goats don't get in and destroy this hay bale. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the weathers out um, so that I can move them into the pasture later. And then luckily there were some gates right next to this area so I didn't need to look far. I grabbed this one and I just put it in front of the opening and tied it up with some bale strings and it looked pretty good. It should hold, I'm just hoping that they don't jump over it because that would not be good.
Now it's time to bring all the goats up. They were way down there, so I had to yell really loud and shake the grain really loud so that they could hear me. Brownie ran right up because he loves his grain. And then Romeo came right up as well. But all the girls were like, I'm too pregnant for this, so it took them a long time to come up, but eventually I was able to get most of them up. The steers were also very energetic and excited this whole time. And then Buttercup was just taking her sweet time. It took her a while to come up here. And then I had to stop recording because everything was kind of chaos, but eventually I got all eight of the does up into the kidding area. They are all so big and I just cannot wait for them to have all of those cute little babies. Buttercup is by far the biggest goat. Like, look at how big she is. She is so huge. I am so excited to see how many babies she has. So once all of the girls were moved, we put all of the boys together. So all the weathers and both of the bucks were together in the same pen. Sven is Romeo's son from last year. They look so identical, but Sven was trying to fight the buck because he thinks he's so big and so strong. I think Romeo was just a little bit annoyed. I'm sure Sven is going to learn his lesson pretty quickly though that he probably shouldn't be doing that. I definitely think Buttercup is the closest, not only because she's big, but also her udder is bigger and she just seems close the way she's acting. I did not get to feel her ligaments well though because she was laying down. So I'll have to do that in a couple hours when I go out and do chores. Please let me know in the comments down below your name ideas for these babies. I know this vlog was kind of everywhere and it probably wasn't very long, but I was honestly not expecting to record anything today and I obviously did not think we were gonna have a calf. So, sorry guys, that was supposed to be the end of the video, but I just realized there are a couple more things I wanna talk about. That calf is really big and really strong. He's already playing and running around. And also, I did feel Buttercup's ligaments, and she is close. I'm pretty sure she's close. They're squishy, they're not gone yet. So I think she's definitely close. It could be any day now. I will keep you guys updated. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you're excited for baby goats, give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to comment down below your name ideas because I want to hear all of them. And subscribe so that you don't miss any more farm content. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.